first one is about the uh, discussion question remember we have a homework from previous sessions there are three questions here the first one is what do you think the key quality of a cell person are okay yes uh, we can correct the answer together so in any position you need two important qualities the first one is called a technical skills the second one is called a soft skill or your behavioral competency which is in other terms technical skill as a cell person you need to know the technical knowledge in cell yes so what are those technical knowledge the technical knowledge like the company knowledge yeah, you need to know very well of your company so that when customer asks you you can tell about your company information okay where it come from when was it established okay the nationality of the company you're working for okay the location the branches so all of that uh, is in one of the important knowledge that you need to know as a sales person the second one is the product knowledge, right? The product knowledge is like it's like a doctor. When you sell medicine, you need to to know the the medicine name. You need to know the function of the medicine. Okay, is that for all people or for specific uh, age category? Yeah. How about women during pregnancy, for example? So it's important that a cell person is like a doctor, a doctor. Okay, which you need to know the product very well so that uh, the customer can see you as an expert and then they can trust you therefore they can buy the product from you okay technologies you need to have a, a knowledge about the technology okay because now we are in a digital world that uh, people start using technology okay people have more present on uh, social media okay like Facebook like Twitter even on TikTok or LinkedIn okay? and therefore uh, to reach those people to let people those people see your product frequently it's important that we present our product in a digital way okay especially on those uh, popular social media okay you also need to know the sale technique. The sale technique including the selling process. There are many process from a product at the beginning until it is sold. Okay, because uh, the customer, some customer, depending on the product, some customer are not going to make decision to buy it immediately. Okay, so they need to go through certain process of consideration be before they trust you before they buy the product from you so it is important that you remain patient and understand the sale process so that you can close the sale okay you probably hear the technical term close sale okay a close sale which means it is the end of the period that the customer decide to buy your products and then you get the money from the customer after the close end you also need to know you need to also need to know another important part which is called the follow up part the follow up part that you need to follow up with the customer whether they are happy with your products okay because it's important it show the customer that you are that uh, you are taking care of the customer need okay taking care of their satisfaction after using your product okay so when they know that you are taking care of the product it's more likely that they will come and buy from you again it's more likely that they can refer other people like their relative or friend to come and buy your product as well okay so all of those are some of the technical part as a salesperson beside those technical part we also need to have the behavioral part yeah the soft part some people call it soft skill or another technical term called a behavioral competency that a sales person should be good at uh, communication okay you need to know how to work as a team okay some people very good at selling and then they are too proud of uh, themselves and then they don't have a very good teamwork they disrespect other people 
uh, those are not a good behavior, right? That's why they need a combination as a good cell person. The first one is the technical qualities, the technical skill, and the second one is the soft skill. Okay. Number two, some people say woman is better than man with cell career. Do you agree? Okay. Uh, to my idea, it really depending on the products. It really depends on the product. Okay. Uh, certain product need female seller. Okay. Certain product need male seller. For example, if you sell the customer the cosmetic product or beauty product which is used by women, then of course that should be the female seller. Okay, the female seller because they they probably use used to use those products and then they, therefore they can tell the customer how effective it is okay some people sell the face mask and then they can show their nice face skin yeah to the customer and that can convince the customer that the face mask has great quality okay uh, hotel service bank service you see there are many uh, teller or cashier who are female okay even uh, car seller okay the car the what they call the sales consultant in car in insurance company all of those really fit uh, female seller however there are certain products which are more likely fit the male seller like construction material yeah construction material uh, because you need when you sell the construction material you need to go to the construction site to meet with the project manager or the owner at that site then you know the environment is more male environment the product is more male products right and therefore generally male seller do better than female seller do okay yeah and in terms of recruitment, if you recruit a female seller, probably they don't stay with the company for long, you know, because uh, they are required to travel to the site, yeah, to the project site, construction site. And of course, we know that some uh, female seller do not want to travel, especially if they travel by motorcycle. They don't like that, okay? But if with car, probably it should be fine, right? Okay. So in summary, for question number two, it really depending. It really depends on the product. There is no one is better than another one, okay? Than another. That's pretty much depending the product to determine whether a male or female seller is better, okay? Number three. How does a support function start sell his or her idea in an organization? So, of course, some of you here are people from HR, from uh, finance, from IT, okay, from admin, from procurement. So, what what type of idea do you sell? Do you sell every day? Of course, actually, everyone sells every day. Yes, no matter, even though you're career is not in sale, you still sell, of course. We sell our idea, yeah? we negotiate with our manager for a better working deadline. For example, if a, man a manager asks us to do uh, certain tasks that is too tough for, for, for you, and then sometimes we need to negotiate, okay? We need to negotiate and offer our solution, our suggestion. Yeah, for a better working deadline, okay? We sometimes sell our idea to convince people that they should do this and do that following our idea. So actually we sell every day, yeah? even though we are in HR, in IT, in account finance or in procurement, okay? Yeah. Thank you.